Do this every year then. If this is <laughs> a lot of the guys are dressing. Um, we're I've look, gotta excuse my voice here. I've been a uh, yelling a, a lot the last few months, so I'm kind of losing it. But uh, the guys in there are changing. Uh, won't be our last practice in the Pan Am, but they're changing for this last time for this weekend. Um, at least one person understood me. There you go. <laughs> In other words, we're going to win this weekend, two games, come back to practice next week. We'll make it real clear for all that special, special time, and it actually is uh, second out of the last three years, so I'd say that's a pretty good, pretty good track record. We've got, uh, we've got a very, very special group of kids, very special group of seniors, and a very special group coming back next year. So it doesn't stop. This is just the beginning. Uh, when I tell you that, I mean that. We got here. We laid out a plan. The plan is in effect. It's in full effect. And it's heading in the right direction. We got great leadership. And Dr. Couture and Dr. Boston, I've got great support. They make me feel special every time I see their faces. I know that they, they've got my back, so to speak. And, and I know that they're supportive of me. And it makes me very, very comfortable to, to do my job when you don't have to worry about the upper echelon they, they're, they're, they're just so supportive, and I, and I want to just give them a round of applause right now because it doesn't happen without them. There you go. I was hoping you could hear that. I didn't know where you were. <laughs> I know how to get a raise. So anyway, uh, wow, wow, this is special. Okay, I guess I'll just address a couple basketball things real quick, and then these guys should hopefully be trickling out, and uh, if you can hang around for a few more minutes and give them a little bit of support on the way out, that'd be awesome. Um, I guess the first thing is, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about Indiana. Indiana's a um, very, very good three-point shooting team, very good in transition. They do an excellent job in transition, and they have a big-time center in the name by the name of Cody Zeller, who's a freshman that's probably going to be a, a lottery pick uh, uh, in, the, in the NBA draft. Probably next year, he'll probably be a top five pick and so this, no, this is a, a big time team a big time program that we're playing against so we're 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 actually very excited about the opportunity i think that uh they're not going to overlook us they understand uh, they there's there's video there's dvds they know they're facing the real deal so they'll be prepared for us as well so i'm expecting a war expecting a battle um our team is playing great right now uh we're, we're, we're reaching our peak at the very very optimal time, so it's it's obviously uh, uh, exciting for the staff to be able to to take a team in, no matter what the seed is, and feel like we are confident that we have a opportunity to win this game. And then we'll worry about the next one, which would be uh, the winner of Wichita State or VCU. Um, and either one of those will obviously be uh, some very capable competition. But we got to get past the first one first, and that's the plan, and we're sticking to it. Again, uh, thanks so much for coming out and standing out in this beautiful, beautiful uh, weather. And uh, could have been nasty out here today, but this might be a sign of things to come. I don't know. What do you think, Scotty? <laughs> All right. Thanks again so much. We love you. And go Aggies! to Mac Boston, to the entire coaching staff, and to the wonderful young man who won the WAC tournament last weekend. One of the great pleasures for me as president 
was to have come here in, in 2010 and see our basketball team win a WAC championship then. And an equal pleasure was not only to see them win this time, but to see the growth between 2010 and 2012. I've seen a number of these young men over that time period, and not only have they grown as basketball players in their skill, they've grown as students, and they've grown as young men who represent this university. We're so very proud of them, very proud of all the students and the band that came out to support them, our cheerleaders and the sun dancers who did a great job along with the band in Las Vegas as well. This is a great time for New Mexico State University. Go Aggies! Yeah.